What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Killzone playthrough. The last Killzone playthrough because we are almost done with the game. We are back in the human planet right now, Vecta. This is pretty much the end. There was a massive twist in the last video. You guys need to check it out. The last video was amazing. A really big plot twist. And now we are trying to get some revenge on a certain guy who said he was my father, but he wasn't. Oh, I'm going to cry. But yeah, let's keep on going. Uh, let's keep going deeper. Not deeper. Let's keep going to our objective. You only have a certain time limit, so we got to be really quick. Okay, let's move. Yeah, I like I like how Echo can like just be go invisible. She can like turn on her stealth powers. It is awesome. It makes it makes killing these guys really easy. And th these guys aren't that hard to kill. It's just when they group up on me, it, it gets hard to uh, defeat them. But yeah, let's keep moving. <clears throat> we take down that thing. All right, what do we got in here? Another sniper rifle. Man, yeah, you need to back off, dude. <laughs> That guy needs to back off. Okay. Let's go. Let me go invisible so nobody can see me. I don't want to get detected. I want to reach the objectives without getting detected. Headshot. Yeah. Man, it just kind of sucks that in the last mission they allow you to be invisible. I would have liked to be invisible in the previous missions. This is awesome. Just being able to go invisible. There's a lot of things in this game which are really cool, you know. I would just I would have liked to see the main story just be a little bit longer. Because um it was kinda of, it was like nine chapters, which is it's good, but at the same time it's kinda of short, you know. So let me kill this guy. And this person. Oh bye bye. It's nice to know ya. See ya. Dang, I only got a few like a minute left. Gotta hurry it up. Gotta hurry up my pace. Man, they got they got the, the gun turret set up. It's not good. But yeah, this place is so colorful. I mean, I really like how in the end they bring you right back to where you started, the main, the main uh, human planet, and there's just so much colors. That's the best thing about this game. It's the graphically, it is amazing. You know, I, I really can't think of any other PS4 game thus far that's better than this game graphically. Far Cry 4 it's not, Dying Light's not. This game really does, just because of the colors, honestly, it's so colorful. I wish a lot more games would incorporate colors, because what a lot of people do is, they have like really dark colors in their game, which looks cool, but when every single game looks like that, it just gets kind of old after a while. And the older Killzone games, they, they look like that too. They had dark colors, you know, grays, blacks, browns. But over time, like for this game, they really made it a point to make it like super colorful, like neon blue, uh, you know, reds, like different colors, just uh, different colors of, of black. And it just looks amazing. There's so much detail. It looks incredible. Wow, we are getting close. We're going down to the wire, guys. Nine seconds. I better hurry my ass up over there. Otherwise, we are not going to make it. Four three holy crap adjust scope all right that was close we got here right on time I'm gonna get some revenge <laughs> I like that you open up the scope like methodically all right here we go let's take the shot this guy this guy Sinclair he's supposed to be my dad he was supposed to be my dad and you betrayed me man you betrayed me. Now, I'm going to take the shot. R2. Right in the head. Boom. For Kellen. Here comes a bullet. I guess, uh... I wish this game would have ended differently, though. I guess violence is the, is the answer in this game. That's how we solve things, I guess. Goodbye. Boom. And... Yeah, I think that was the ending. It was. That was a proper ending. They gave us a fake ending last time. It was a it was a good game. You know, it, it, it wasn't the best game I've ever played, but Killzone Shadowfall was a pretty decent game. Let me give you guys a quick breakdown, like I do after I beat every game. Overall, I really enjoyed the graphics. I enjoyed the gameplay. The story, I thought it could have been a little bit longer. 
Um, some of the parts of the game, you know, were kind of annoying. The difficulty was kind of high, but overall, a good game, worth picking up. I'd give it a seven out of ten. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really enjoy it and making these playthroughs. I will see you guys next time.